we made a video on the side effects of masturbation and under that video i had a lot of questions that i need to answer and the first one that kept popping under the video was nos messi mary how do i stop masturbating nos messi mary this thing is killing me i don't really like it i don't really like the outcome how do i stop it good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Messi mary popularly known as a nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be telling you useful tips on how to stop masturbation how did i get this point that i'm going to be sharing with you these points are from life experiences life experiences and life facts that have worked for a lot of people so today i'm going to be sharing with you and i believe it's going to help you stop masturbating but before we go into details into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers this is not Miss Mary saying thank you let's go there all right welcome back like i earlier said today we're going to be sharing with you a practical experience on how to stop masturbating practicals that have worked for a lot of people on how they were able to stop masturbating and it worked like magic within 30 days so after making the video on the side effects of addiction to masturbation, I'm going to drop the link in the description box below. After making this particular video, on that, I got this question on how to stop masturbating. So I decided to do more research about how to stop masturbating and I was able to get people sharing their experience on how they were personally able to, um, to stop masturbating, how they were personally able to stop this act of masturbation. Then I decided to bring it to this channel to share it with you so it is beneficial. But before we go into the details, I really want to ask you this question why are you masturbating what is the reason behind you masturbating are you masturbating because you are bored are you masturbating because you are home alone are you masturbating because you are trying to escape from the real world are you masturbating because you are emotionally traumatized are you masturbating because you are watching a lot of pornography? Are you masturbating because you have a friend that you always view their status and all they talk about is sex and all they upload about is masturbation products? Or you have somebody you are following on Instagram, on Facebook, on Telegram that always talk about sex, pornography and masturbation? What is the major reason why you are masturbating? This is a question you have to ask yourself. Why am I masturbating so when you are done with that then that takes us to the first point on how to stop masturbating the first point is have the mindset that you want to stop it yes you have to put it in mind oh i want to stop masturbating i really want to do it i don't really like it but i want to stop it has to be in your mind if you want to stop you have to tell yourself i angela i have to stop masturbating I, Miss Mary, I have to stop masturbating. I, Jumbo, I have to stop masturbating. This is what you have to consciously tell yourself you want to stop it. Because for you to do something, you have to remind yourself, you have to tell yourself that you have to stop it. Then now you've told yourself you want to stop it. What is the second thing you have to do? I know a lot of people will not want to do it. The second thing you should do is to tell somebody about it. Yes. You know, this thing is a secret. You are masturbating in secret. You masturbate when people are not there, when people are not watching you. It's your secret. So when you share that particular secret with someone, it kind of kills that ability for you to want to do it. So you have to look for somebody you trust. It could be a close friend that you trust so well and tell the person, oh, I masturbate. I really want to stop it. Yes, tell somebody about it. As small as that is, it might look simple, but it's difficult to some people to actually tell their best friend, their pals, that they are masturbating. But if you can't tell your best friend about it, look for a psychotherapist, somebody you can confide in, somebody that can help you out. Just look for somebody and tell that particular person. It could be your parents. If you are very, very close to your mom for the females, you are very, very close to your dad for the males, 
Just look for somebody to tell. Talk to somebody about it. Let them know this is your problem. And tell them you want to stop it. That is going to help, but you won't know. But it's going to help you do that. Then the second thought I have to share with you is shut down the sources. What do I mean by shut down the sources? Shut down where the inspiration is coming from. Is the inspiration coming from your friend status? Is the inspiration coming from those you follow on social media? Instagram. Who are you following on Instagram? What are you what do you, what keeps popping up on your Facebook page? What keeps popping up on your Instagram page? What keeps popping up on your Telegram pages? What keeps popping up on your Google, on Google searches? Shut the sources down. If you really want to stop it, you have to be far away from the sources. Start deleting them. Now pause the video, go to the various sources you have and start deleting them. Delete the YouTube videos that have, you've downloaded. De delete um, the Instagram people that you follow that always talk about sex. Those people you follow also affect. Start deleting the source. Start removing the sources. Because these sources actually stimulate you to want to do it regularly. So when the sources are gone, we are on track. So you have to what? Delete the sources. Then the fourth one I have to talk about is retrain your mind. Yeah, you have to start retraining your mind that you have to stop it. You want to stop it. According to King Kent, when he was sharing his own, he said he normally plays a rubber band. Ignore the siren blowing. He normally plays a rubber band in his hand. You guess, whenever the thought of masturbation come, he used the rubber band to slack himself. You understand? Stretches the rubber band, pam. You know, for those that use rubber band, you know how painful it is when you stretch the rubber band and give yourself a hit. So that helps him a lot. The rubber band is always on his hand. Whenever the thoughts come, he just slacks it. And it helps him a lot. So retrain your mind. For those that are Christians, for those that have religious uh, backup, this is what you do. Sing praise and worship. Listen to gospel music. Listen to preaching. Try diverting your attention from it. Replace those thoughts with the word of God. Replace those words with the prayers. Replace those words. Uh, replace those thoughts with some scriptural backup music, especially gospel music. Try and distract yourself. Retrain your mind. So when you do that, it's going to help you. It's going to go a long way to help you. And another one is fifth one I have to share with you. Avoid fruits. Fruits that actually increase your libido. There are particular fruits that increase your sexual urge. So you have to start avoiding that fruit consciously. Such as we have a gorontula. I actually documented it here. We have pineapple. We have dates. We have tiger nuts. And we have watermelon. These fruits, they tend to increase your libido. They tend to increase your sexual desire. So you have to abstain from them. You have to stay away from these fruits. So you don't have constantly have this increased sexual or to always want to have sex and there's nobody around. Then the sixth point I have here is accountability. Remember at the first, that's, I think the second point I shared with you was report to a friend. Then the sixth point is not telling you accountability, report to yourself. Anytime you masturbate, anytime you're involved in it, anytime the thought comes to your mind, report to someone. Oh, I just did it. Oh, the thought just came to my mind. Report to someone. When you know you are reporting to someone all your action, that gives you a mindset to always want to stop it. Because you don't want that person to feel less of you. So be accountable to someone. And also be accountable to yourself. Accountability. So when you do this, it's going to help you a long, a long way. You feel telling someone is going to like diminish you. Telling someone will go a long way to help you stop masturbating. Six is accountability. Then seven I have to share with you is have a calendar. The calendar tells you, okay, you didn't masturbate today. Keep track of yourself. Like before, you know, you start, instead of five days interval, maybe you do it every five, five days, every four, every, maybe every day. Before you know, when you are keeping track of yourself, it goes down to every, three, every um, maybe from every day, it becomes every five, five days, it becomes every six, six days, it becomes every four, four days. Like, sorry, it goes down, sorry. <laughs> if you were doing it every day before, it keeps reducing. You understand? You now give yourself intervals. So you have to be accountable to someone and also accountable to yourself by keeping track of your experiences, by keeping track of what you do. So that is the seventh point I have to share with you. Then that takes us to the eighth point. The eighth point I have to share with you is for you to train your emotions. Yes, 
you have to train your emotions see according to king kent he said that it has both um here we all have the black there's a way he explained the black wolves and the white wolves the black wolves want you to continue masturbating but the white wolf does not want you to continue masturbating so if you continue to feed the black wolves you are going to continue masturbating but if you continue to feed um the white wolves you gradually gradually you stop masturbating so train your emotions those wolves that are controlling your emotions try and train it so i would advise you try as much as possible to block the black wolves and give room for the white wolves train them then the ninth point i have to share with you is replace the habits look for something that you enjoy doing and start outside masturbating you could be someone that like drawing you could be someone that like talking like me you could be someone that likes um running that likes being athletic that likes jumping that likes money try and replace this old um, habits with new habits what do you like to do outside of masturbating then work on those things that you like to do try replacing that habits according to him he said that it takes 30 days to replace old habits it takes 13 days to change habits so gradually gradually the energy you are putting in masturbation you put it in the activity you like doing. Yeah, you put it in the activity that you like doing. Then the number 10 point I have to share with you is what is your libido like? What's a sexual odd like generally? Yes. Do you have a high libido or do you have a low libido? So for those that have high libido, they are at higher risk of always masturbating. They are at higher risk of always masturbating. So the best thing is to get a partner get married get a partner that loves you and also love sex yes that loves you and love sex get a partner this was a practical experience of what one of the feedback i got she said she had to get a partner that loves sex and also loves her that makes it easy for her to stop masturbating so now you know your libido the next thing is to what get a partner to help you out with it the last point i have to share with you is punish yourself yes punish yourself whenever you masturbate it's right you punish yourself oh you tell yourself whenever i masturbate the next thing i'll have to do is to run 100 meter is is to do something just give yourself that punishment and see how it works within 30 days yo so these are the points i have to share with you they are practical they've worked for people who have been masturbating and i believe if you follow this point carefully and judiciously in the next 30 days masturbating will be far away from you thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you caught value for all my returning subscriber this is not very saying thank you bye and see you in our next video